Now we're going to take a look at how to create a soft body out of a lattice. And to do so, we're going to have to alter the um, make soft command to reflect the original instead of the duplicate being soft. Let's take a look why. All right, I'm going to open up the uh, file here called lattice soft. And it's got a little cattail in here, which is a little plant. And I want this to kind of be interactive. It, I want it to kind of wiggle and I want to make some air fields and some turbulence fields. And I just kind of want it to react. So let's first start by, instead of making every one of these points, which has got a lot of stuff on here, instead of making every one of those points soft, what I'm going to do is instead create a lattice around this object. And we'll have to determine if that's enough lattice points. You know, we may want to uh, increase this. Uh, actually, we'll leave it to two. We'll increase it. Two should be fine. We'll increase it to about seven. All right, so that should give us enough movement. Now, if I was to go up here, let's see. Go to make this soft and choose duplicate make the copy soft. The lattice will be soft, right? But the duplicate one is going to be the soft one. And the object is not connected to the duplicate object. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. But if I choose this setting right here, I hit create. And let's just take these particles. And I got a goal weight of 0.5, and let's just add gravity. Let's watch what happens. Right? They fell. Let's lower my goal weight. See how that lattice moved down? But the cattail didn't. Right? So that tells us instantly that there is a problem with our lattice set up here. Okay, I'm actually going to get rid of all that stuff. I just need this top node here. All right, so let's start by putting another lattice back on there. And we'll just add a few more divisions. This time, however, let's choose uh, Create Soft Body. Okay, I'll set this back up to 1, goal weight of 1. Duplicate, make the original soft. And we'll hit Create. So what's happening is we have a duplicate lattice, and the duplicate is going to be the um, goal shape, right? So this is going to be just the standard lattice. And the original, which was connected to this plant, is now going to be the soft one. All right, so let's go in and select the particles. Right-click, choose particles. And let's set some per-particle uh, goals here. So I'll just select the first two up here. And my goal weight, we'll just set these to, uh, let's say, like 0.75. And the next one, we'll make them 0.8. And this one, we'll say 0.9. And we'll go all the way down to this one. We'll say that's 0.95. Okay, so now let's hit play. Nothing really happens because there's no fields acting upon it. Let's go in here and select this particle. Go in here, carefully select that, and then we'll choose a turbulence field. Now this turbulence field, I'm going to crank up pretty good. Okay, so you can see here I've got my turbulence field moving. What I'm going to do is create just a polygon cube, just something to kind of hold some space. So let's imagine that this is like a truck driving by. Okay, and I'm just going to parent those together here. So I'll just move this back. 
parent that. Move this forward, parent that. And let's take a look at what this does to our Cool. Maybe we should move it back a little bit further. Okay. So now what we've got is this lattice, which is being deformed uh, by the particle cloud, which in turn is deforming the um, cattail plant. So let's add one more. Let's add, let me select my particle field here. And I'm going to add an air field. And we want this pretty strong. So let's see. Set our magnitude to 250. And our direction to, let's see, negative 1 and x and 0. OK, that looks pretty cool. So now let's parent this together. So I'll just shift parent. And you can see here we've got a nice little bit of rumbling. And we can actually maybe turn up the attenuation on that. I'm just going to keep lowering that attenuation. There we go. So pretty cool. And you can see here we've got one thing driving another, which in really in reality makes it so much easier because, look, we only have a handful of particles here that we need to adjust. And in turn, we're getting a lot of uh, good playback, getting a lot of good feedback. And we can keep layering on different fields and uh, winds and things like that. So. Uh, hopefully you can you can use this in one of your own projects. Just remember when using lattices, you want to make the original soft and the duplicate the goal.